Did you know Arkansas is home to many Asian Americans, Chinese, Hmong, Marshallese, and more? From 1869 to 1880, Chinese immigrants were wanted for their ability to work in the cotton fields. The Chinese Exclusion Act was passed by Congress in 1882, and this population declined in Arkansas and the U.S. From 1880 to 1910, the majority of the Chinese in Arkansas ran small laundries. By the 1920s, the majority of the Chinese in Arkansas were working in the grocery store business. Here's a picture of Joe Hong Grocery in Tyronza, Poinsett County from the 1950s. The most recent wave of Chinese immigration came after the passage of the Immigration and Nationality Act of 1965, known as the Heart Seller Act. Chinese Americans today live all over the state from, de from the Delta to the Ozarks. During World War II, the Chinese were differentiated from the Japanese as allies rather than enemies. In 1943, President Roosevelt directed Congress to repeal the Chinese Exclusion Act. Japanese Americans were forcibly removed from their homes on the West Coast in 1942 and imprisoned in 10 incarceration camps, including two in Arkansas at Jerome and Rower. Although Arkansas's Japanese American population today is small, here are a few with Arkansas connections. Yuri Kochiyama was a human rights activist and Nobel Peace Prize nominee. Ruth Asawa was an internationally acclaimed artist and advocate for arts education. Paul Kazuo Kuroda, professor of chemistry, brought international attention to scientific research in Arkansas. Henry Yuzuru Sugimoto was a noted artist whose paintings chronicled the immigrant experience. Ryan Yoshimoto Kurosaki, the first American of Japanese descent to play in the major leagues, is a former professional baseball player. Nami Shingu was an American citizen born of Japanese parents. She arrived in Arkansas as an internee and left a decade later after her family's successful farming endeavors allowed them to return to California. George Hosato Take gained international fame as Lieutenant Sulu in the original Star Trek television series and movies. The Hmong have traditionally lived in Laos, Vietnam, China, and Thailand. They are an ethnic group, not a nationality. The presence of the Hmong people in Arkansas stems from the evacuation of allied groups by the U.S. government at the end of the Vietnam War. When the U.S. evacuated in 1975, it left a wide segment of the Indo-Chinese population who had assisted the American military and political effort. The 1975 Indochina Migration and Refugee Assistance Act was one congressional response. At Fort Chaffee, the project was referred to as Operation New Life. By the last day of the program, 50,809 refugees had been processed through Fort Chaffee. A small fraction made their home in Fort Smith though most were relocated to other states. You can learn more here. Only a small group of Hmong were among the first group of Asian refugees to arrive in the US, but beginning in 1979 and continuing until the mid 1990s, more than 100,000 were admitted to the United States. Several Hmong from across the country came to Arkansas in 2004 when they learned that Tyson Foods, a chicken preparing company, was offering land and poultry farms. 
You can learn more here. Marshallese people, aka Marshall Islanders, have been migrating from their North Pacific archipelago to the Ozarks since the 1980s. The second largest U.S. continental population of Marshallese is concentrated in Springdale, Washington and Benton counties. Most Marshallese in Arkansas labor in poultry slaughterhouses, but are increasingly finding jobs in other sectors, professions, and self-established businesses. You can learn more here. Another group that deserves mention is the Hindu religion. An estimated 15,000 Hindus live in Arkansas. Hinduism is regarded as the world's oldest living religion, and it is the third largest in the world. Currently, there are about 1 billion followers, 90% of whom live in India, where the religion originated. Although isolated Hindu families have lived in the U.S. since the beginning of the 20th century, large numbers of Indians started arriving in the United States in the late 1960s. Many Hindus in Arkansas are physicians, engineers, computer professionals, business professionals, or hotel or motel operators. Among the early arrivals in Arkansas were Dr. Haridas Mazu. Dr. Haridas Mazumdar and his wife, Amu Mazumdar, who arrived in the mid-1950s. Mazumdar was Dean of the College of Arts and Science at what is now the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, UAPB, and his wife was a professor of social work at the University of Arkansas at Little Rock, UA Little Rock. You can learn more here. One popular Indian restaurant in Little Rock is Star of India. This award-winning establishment has been around since 1993 and is said to have been the state's first Indian restaurant. Chef and owner Sami Lal greets patrons with the charming salutation, welcome home. Buddhists in Arkansas are represented by ethnic immigrants as well as native Arkansans who have turned to Buddhism for their spiritual needs. Though less than 1% of the population of Arkansas, Buddhists in the state have established temples testifying to their presence. There are at least two Buddhist temples in Arkansas, serving primarily Laotian immigrant communities in Fort Smith and Springdale. The largest was founded in 1989. By 2001, it had 10 permanent monks and occupied six acres of land. Fort Smith also became home to two Vietnamese Buddhist temples, one of one of which was destroyed by fire in 2015. In 2005, an, in 2005, a new temple opened in Bauxite, which serves a, which serves a Vietnamese community. Did you know that rice is Arkansas's leading agricultural product? Domesticated rice is not native to North America. It has been cultivated in Central Asia for 6,500 years. Its, its use gradually spread to Eastern and Western Asia, the Mediterranean Basin, and Africa. Rice is so popular in Arkansas, we even have an Arkansas Rice Festival held during the second weekend of October. It was started in 1976 to promote the consumption of Arkansas rice and to celebrate Arkansas's status as the number one rice producing state in the nation. As of 2020, the largest AAPI ethnic groups in Arkansas include 
Indian, Vietnamese, Filipino, Laotian, Chinese, and Korean. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to email info at cows.org.